Bob, it's Ross Tucker. Really appreciate you coming on the show. Are they are they juicing them or not? Are, are the balls different or not, Bob? You know, you talk to pitchers, they sure are. Your eyeballs tell you that. Because balls are flying out. I mean, we're going to have over 6,000 home runs hit this year, which will shatter every uh, every record in baseball history. Uh, you know, you're talking about in the steroid era and everything else. We're, we're still having more home runs hit by that. Guys are going opposite field, just like the steroid days. And, and the bodies aren't juiced now. Now, now it's the balls. Uh, they're flying out. You know, uh, the places where we've never seen balls hit. So I don't understand why this is even something that needs to be debated. Like, can't, can't somebody take a foul ball or a home run ball and test it and see if it's different than the balls are used to be or should be? Yeah, and some places are, and they've noticed a difference. You know, baseball says it's all within the specifications. But, you know, you see uh, the specifications are kind of a wide range. And, uh, and players say they'll pick up a ball. It's the hardest thing they've ever felt. And not every baseball feels the same. The trouble is the pitchers say it also causes some blisters and uh, broken nails problems because nobody has that seam to grip into. And uh, so you're putting a, a, a tighter grip on the ball. Usually you do some minor hand injuries. So basically it might just be a semantics thing with Major League Baseball because they, they're saying it's within the specifications, but it could be like uh, – a deflate gate football thing where maybe before it was at 16.5 PSI and now it's at 18.5 PSI, both of which are in the specifications, but clearly a tighter, more wound ball. Exactly. Uh, you know, what they're saying is it wasn't a cognizant effort, uh, but you know, let's be honest. I mean, baseball fans love home runs. Offense is down in the game. Baseball is concerned. Now all of a sudden we're seeing those, uh, you know, those home runs. So, yeah, I, I think it may be a, a matter of semantics. You know, it's not like the, you know, it's not like the home run derby. The home run derby, those balls are like Super Bowls. Those things are really juiced up. You'll see it here in about 10 days where you'll, you'll hit key 500 home runs. Now, those aren't real baseball. These are, but uh, there, there's something different about them. Talking with Bob Nightingale, does a really nice job covering baseball, Major League Baseball, for USA Today. Is there or could there possibly be be any other explanation, Bob? No. Uh, you know, people look into, hey, the pitch is so harder, so if you swing harder, it's going to go further. But that's been kind of a uh, squelch, that theory. I know guys are launching, trying to change their uh, launch angles. They hit a home runs, which is fine. But you shouldn't have guys going the opposite field. You shouldn't have all these guys hitting 480, 490 feet homers. Uh, so, yeah, it's just... You know, we're seeing stuff we haven't seen, uh, you know, back in the early, in the early, uh, you know, 2000s. So why wouldn't Major League Baseball just kind of admit to it, just say, yeah, we're, we're juicing them up a little bit. They're, they're a little different than they used to be. Well, if you change the ball, you're supposed to go through the union and everything else. And, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, commissioner, uh, Japanese commissioner of baseball, did that uh, without anybody knowing about it and ended up having to resign. So you don't want to, you know, come out and say, hey, we're changing it. We're changing records and everything else. Uh, but, yeah, they are within specifications. That's all they're saying. They're not saying the ball is exactly the same. And even pitchers will tell you, you know, not every ball feels the same either. It's just a lot of them now uh, feel a whole lot different than they have in the past, particularly without those seams. I think the NCAA did a study of that uh, a couple of years ago in balls with the, uh, you know, hardly any seam at all. Well, we'll go about 30 feet further. So, you know, you mentioned the records. I, I guess my thing would be, I, I know baseball, they hold their records so dear, but I guess my question is, like, there's no way the balls that they're using now are, are like what they were using when Babe Ruth was playing. So, And I'm sure they've changed over time. So in, is it really that much of a records deal? Because they can't be the same balls that Babe Ruth was using. No, those balls have changed a lot over the years, you know. Uh, yeah, from the root days to the, to the 40s have changed, different manufacturers. So the ball has uh, gone through a lot of changes. So I don't think it's really going to bother anybody this year because no one's going to break, uh, you know, no one's going to break Bond's record. No one's going uh, to, you know, get over uh, you know, 60 home runs. You know, certainly, not, certainly not over 70 home runs. If someone's on pace to do that, 
then I think there'd be a, a, a lot more people going berserk about it just because everybody holds baseball records so sacred. So then I guess my question would be, if they're not juicing the balls, why not? Um, and I know what you said about the union and stuff like that, but like who who gets hurt by that? In other words, Bob, you know, I'm a former football player. If the NFL could, they would juice the heck out of the balls. I mean, to try, you know, every every rule the NFL implements is to increase scoring for the fans and fantasy football and stuff. I mean, if they're not juicing the ball for more home runs, why not? It seems like a very good business proposition. No, it does. I mean, uh, yeah, and all those surveys have shown that fans love the home runs. I love the strikeouts, too. You know, it hurts pitchers, obviously. Your, your ERA goes up. You're giving up record number of home runs. I mean, Clayton Kershaw started to give up more home runs in, uh, this season than he has his entire career. We got a whole half season left. Uh, you know, John Lack has given up more home runs than ever. So it, it hurts those guys for sure, particularly younger guys who don't have a, uh, a contract. And, you know, scouts and team executives say, wait a minute now, has this guy gone backwards at the pitcher? But it may just be more of a, more of a ball issue. Last question, Bob. There were a couple of notable injuries last night with Fowler and Turner. Um, notable for different reasons, but just curious to get your thoughts on on the significance of both those injuries. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Nationals standpoint, I think they'll stay within uh, and, and use some of the minor league, uh, maybe default, uh, just because that's such a big lead. But even, you know, I had one of their people say, man, these balls are so hard now. You know, we're not saying that he wouldn't have got hurt. But we're seeing more bruises and more broken balls with some of these uh, baseballs as well, and yeah, uh, a real, a real shame with the uh, with the Yankees and Fowler. I mean, the kid just gets called up. Uh, he's going to have his parents meet him in Houston. Never gets to have an at bat. He has to play the field, and that's it. And now, uh, you know, he's out for six months. And who knows? You know, who knows whether we'll ever see him again in the major leagues? So yeah, just a heartbreaking uh, injury, particularly for him. And we'll we'll see Turner back. Uh, you know, we don't know when we're going to see power back. Bob, really appreciate the time. Interesting story. I really liked all the quotes from both pitchers and hitters and coaches. That was well done. Oh, thank you so much, Ross. I'm sure. All right, there he is, Bob Nightingale from USA Today. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. <laughs> 